seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, position. Eagles pitching down range. Plus 25 seconds into flight under the thrust of over 5 million pounds. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. We're getting ready to throttle down for passing through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Max We've Q. heard call out of throttle bucket no, for sidecar. We're through max Q. Vehicle is supersonic. Everything continuing to look good on the Merlin 1D engines. We're throttling back up on the side boosters to full power. A minute 15 seconds into flight. Performance looks nominal. Currently, the next event coming up in about two minutes. We'll hear call out of power, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. Turned off one engine on each of the side boosters to decrease that load. Now our next major event coming up here in about 10 seconds, shutdown and separation of the side boosters. The view should be the side booster cameras on two sides and the center core in the middle. Booster shut down. Booster separation confirmed. Over the cheering in the background, it's going on midnight, but a lot of people here at SpaceX, side boosters have separated. They're getting ready for their burn back to Cape Canaveral. You can see on the left and right views, the side boosters have ignited. The center core continues under full power. Everything looking good on the Falcon Heavy. Next event coming up in about 15 seconds will be shutdown of the center core, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. Good views of the two side boosters under the thrust of three engines each slowing down their velocity and coming back towards Cape Canaveral. We have shut down on the center core. Cool. Stage separation confirmed. We have successful separation and ignition. We're coming up on shutdown of the two side boosters. Side booster, boost back shutdown. And we've heard the call out side booster, boost back shutdown. The center core you can see is not doing a boost back. It's headed downrange to the drone ship. Here comes booster, fairing separation. Range, nominal. Fairing separation we have confirmation of the payload fairing separation. So, so far, four minutes, 17 seconds into flight. Second stage looking good, headed to low Earth orbit, carrying the 24 satellites. The side boosters have done their first boon, coming back to Cape Canaveral. The center core has separated and is beginning its long coast downrange to the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. So at four minutes, 35 seconds and counting, everything looking good on Falcon Heavy. On all three boosters should be deployed and those are help guiding them to their landing zones. As a reminder, today we will be attempting to, to recover all three of these first stages, and all three boosters are currently making their way home. In just a few minutes, the side boosters will execute an entry burn followed by a landing burn, and the center core will, do the com will complete the same burns just a few minutes later. Both burns are used to slow the stage's speed down rapidly before landing. 
At the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way back to land at our side-by-side -side landing pads. The center core is going too fast to efficiently return to the Cape, so we are using our autonomous drone ship, of course I still love you, as we mentioned earlier. As a reminder, our drone ship is positioned twice as far offshore than normal, so we may not get visuals of landing tonight. Also coming up in a few minutes will be the call-out for second engine cutoff. Shortly after that, that should end up. Keep an eye on the left side of your screen. Start up. And we have. You hear the crowd cheer behind me. And that entry burn has completed. Note that second engine cutoff and the center core will be landing almost at the same time. So we're going to have a few events in succession at about T plus 8 minutes and 21 seconds. Public side booster FTS is safe. Boosters transonic. About 10 seconds away. Side booster landing burn startup. We've heard the call out for side booster landing burn startup, and there you see it on your screen. See it coming towards our two landing pads. See those landing legs deploy. Confirmed side booster landing. What an iconic view. We've also at the same time, I believe we've had second engine cutoff at the same time. Entry and landing is going to be risky. During entry, it'll face more heating and dynamic pressure than we've ever experienced on Falcon 9 or heavy flight before. Why, you ask? because we have to lift the second stage higher and faster than other Falcon Heavy flights in order to have enough performance in it to execute four burns into all the different orbits. So coming up at T plus 9 minutes and 39 seconds, we should see the center core entry burn ending. Center core entry burn. Oh, we have the confirmation. Looks like that was the confirmation for it to begin. So we're a little bit off the timeline. Center core entry burn shut down. And we had just heard the confirmation that center core entry burn has shut down. And now that the entry burn is complete, the center core is moving back about 20% faster than it was at the end of the Falcon Heavy 2 Arabsat entry burn. First stage KPL is expected. That we've had to date. Drone ship there, of course I still love you. If you're just now tuning in, we're just about 10 seconds away from that center core landing burn beginning. Stage one landing burn has started. And we have confirmation that the center core landing burn has begun. You can see that coming down on Of Course I Still Love You. Got a pretty good view. As you can see on our screen, it looks like our center core did not make it on our drone ship, of course. I still love you tonight. Again, as